dear students in this class we will explain how we represent a k variable model in matrix form now a k variable model with the y as the dependent variable x2 etc xk as the independent variables a model with the k minus 1 independent variables and dependent variable y so k variable model the prf is written as ya is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x 2 y plus beta 3 x 3 a plus etc beta k x k i plus q a the prf for the general k variable model now if we expand this in terms of all the values the first equation is y1 is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x 2 1 plus beta 3 x 3 1 plus etc beta k x k 1 plus u the second is y2 is equal to beta 2 plus sorry beta 1 plus beta 2 x 2 2 plus beta 3 x 3 second observation plus beta k x k 2 plus u similarly yn is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x 2n plus beta 3 x 3n plus beta k x k n plus u n in terms of all the observations on y and x now let me write it like this i write this in the form of a vector y1 y2 etc y n c equal to is equal to 1 1 x 2 1 x 2 2 etc etc x 2 n then x 3 1 x 3 2 etc x 3 n then x k 1 x k 2 etc x k n then into beta 1 beta 2 etc beta k c equal to sorry plus u1 u2 etc u e now let me write uh, this as y the vector y is equal to x beta plus u x beta plus u y has the order n by 1 now consider x x has the order how many rows 1 2 etc n n rows and how many columns columns 2 3 etc k k minus 1 plus a column of units so k columns so order n by k and remember this when we write uh, uh, the matrix of order m by n m by n m is the number of rows m is the number of rows n is the number of columns so if that is the convention then the k will be the number of rows this is because we have specified like this if we specify this variables as x i2 x i3 x i k then it becomes what x 1 2 x x 1 3 like that the, this becomes x 
वन के टू के एक्सेट्रा एन के बट दैट शुड बी केप्ट इन माइंड सो एन एन बाय के बीटा हाज द ऑर्डर के बाय वन के बाय वन यू हाज द ऑर्डर एन बाय वन so y is equal to x beta plus u y has the order n by 1 x has the order n by k n rows k columns beta has k rows one column u has n rows one column and this is how we represent a k variable model in matrix form when i talk about presenting a model in matrix form suppose that this is a two variable model if it is a two variable model again y has the order n by 1 because observation number is same then x has the order n by 2 only because n rows only two columns then k the beta has beta 1 and beta 2 so 2 by One and this has the order n by two. If it is a three-variable model, again it is n by one. This is n by three. This is three by one. This is n by one. So y is equal to x beta plus u. Is how we write a k-variable model in matrix form. And this may be a two-variable model, a three-variable model, or a general. k variable mode and always keep this order in form the dimension in in mind because this dimension will be used extensively in the later classes so why is it, if you are sure about the dimension we simply write it as y is equal to x beta plus u this is the matrix representation of k variable mode y is equal to x beta plus u n by 1 n by k k by 1 n by 1 when we have two variable model three variable model etc order of y and u will be same of x the columns number of columns of x and beta will change that is all that is the k variable model in matrix form y vector x is a matrix beta is a vector u is a vector y is equal now you can see that in the data matrix x there is a column of 1 then only multiplying this with the, this will reproduce this system of equations 1 into beta 1 beta 1 plus beta 2 x2 y x2 1 etc beta k x k 1 like that so the, so in the x matrix there will be a column of units column of units so that number of number of i mean columns is equal to number of columns is equal to k not a k minus 1 remember this always while discussing this this uh, dummy variable trap we have a considered a column of units and now i think it why it is clear to you why this column of units is there so you just rework multi variable trap once more then you will see that there is a column of units always in the x matrix that is it.